All right, guys, take a seat. Let's talk a little bit about that workout. I have a really fancy graph drawn up here. We have time, zero to 12 minutes. We have energy, zero to 100%. Now, open prep camp just started, and the first heat was the first workout of open prep camp. Everyone's excited, and it looked to me like we got here and here around the same time. People trying to put a lot of effort into movements that you should be pretty comfortable with by now. So I just made a couple of notes on the board on the left about kind of the way that you would think about things to make sure that you're not overpacing um, to try to make sure that you're you know, kind of in the right mindset. So raise your hand if you worked hard this year. Raise your hand if you did work hard this year. Raise your hand if you work. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Okay. Well, there's two scenarios here. We're going to cross this off preparation because the ones that raised their hand, you're good to go. The ones that didn't, I'm sorry, it still gets crossed off because you have a week. It's not going to happen. So that part of the equation at this point in the season is sort of, did you prepare? Did you not prepare? We move on down to a sound mind which is a lot easier if you're prepared. Going into the workout with a sound mind, you would assume that you would not sprint from wherever you are to the pull-up bar. You're swinging all over the place. You're looking around like, what the heck is happening? I thought I knew how to do chest to bar. You're using enough force to put 100 kilos over your head for one rep, but there isn't that much on the bar moving really frantically, purposefully putting your heart rate higher than it needs to be. We have to make sure that we go into this with a sound mind. Everything is calmed down because we're trying to keep our heart rate low and because we're confident because we've already prepared or unfortunately we didn't. Efficiency comes next. It's a lot easier to be efficient, as I just alluded to, if you actually have a sound mind, if you take things down a notch. Efficiency is all the stuff we go over all weekend in our breakout groups. How do we make a movement that is obviously challenging, it's made challenging on purpose to test your fitness, how do we make it easier? Okay, really important. Next is when things get different during the season. We have strategy down here. There's a lot of times when on the blog we tell you to take strategy, crumple it up into a ball, and throw it in the garbage can because we cannot progress as athletes without overshooting our potential and then coming back and trying to match it and then coming back and trying to match it. If you play it safe all the time during your training, it will not translate to this time of year. But we have strategy is so important this time of year. Are we breaking movements up? What do our transitions look like? So a lot of people go unbroken and take a really long time in their transitions. Whereas an example would be seven and three on the power snatch, you drop it, it's probably not going to take as long as it did for that nice long stroll you took to the pull-up bar. So we can build a transition in by breaking the movement up, giving ourselves a little bit of a break, but we're not moving from the bar. That's just one example. But strategy in the open is incredibly important. And again, that's when we start to find that difference and that balance between how do you train when it's more about improving and how do you train when you're gaming it to make sure that you get the highest score. Because those are two very different things. And last but definitely not least is grit. There are a lot of people that have all of this stuff. Sound mind, they move efficiently, they prepare during the season. Strategy was good, but when it all comes down to it and the lights are turned on, they just don't go to those places that you have to go to. And, and I, you know, when I think about grit, when I think about you know, someone being tough in a workout, usually comes back to the preparation piece And then it comes back to the sound mind portion where someone is really focused in on what they're doing. We go through all of this efficiency stuff, and I think that it's easier to move a little bit better because we have something to think about as opposed to, this sucks. I don't want to be doing this. This hurts. Do I really have eight more minutes left? This isn't fair. I don't like this. All of that negative self-talk, if we go back to preparation and back to confidence and just think about the way that we're moving, it's a pretty good chance six minutes are going to disappear off the clock because you're so focused in on what you're doing, and that's going to get you a much higher score. So essentially the way that I looked at this when I was watching you guys was just that first heat and that really frantic energy that everyone had. It's nice to care that much, 
but we have to, we have to bring it down a little bit. It's, it's so important this time of year to take that excitement and bottle it up across the entire workout as opposed to, oh no, I've only got 20% left in the gas tank and there's a lot of time left. It's super important. Does that make sense? Just kind of how we're thinking about things during the open versus during the season. And all of this stuff is really important during you know, the off season when we're training, but the way, the levels that we look at it change a lot during the open. And hopefully we can do a good job across the course of the weekend of conveying that so when we get into that final workout, kind of that true test piece that we always have at camp, that you guys are ready to put all of these pieces together.